up guys haven't done a whiteboard video in a while so I figured I'd throw something in I just some for some reason this came to my mind which was just monetize everything this is so important in your business so um, if I have to run to the supply house from my hometown where I'm at you know it's probably a 30 mile round trip so if I drive 30 miles round trip uh, if I monetize that, like how much gas is that going to cost me? I'm going to be conservative and I'm going to say, you know, it cost me five bucks. And I, I may be way wrong, but let's just say it's five bucks. Now, if I'm paying myself $20 an hour, um, reach out to your territory manager. If you haven't seen one of these worksheets before, I know BDR, I've taken some classes with them and they've got a worksheet. Took another class with another guy. Um... I know their company did about three million. Uh, Arnie Langrick is his name. He, uh, anyhow, I took another class and he provided this worksheet too that just tells you what your actual cost is, kind of like loaded labor cost for somebody who makes twenty dollars an hour. I use that that I use twenty bucks an hour because I just remember that one, and it's about fifty bucks an hour is what they cost the company to employ them when you add all the, the benefits and stuff that you provide. Like if you're paying something on their insurance and they're taking a vehicle home, they got a phone and a tablet. And I think the gas for the vehicle may be included in that. I don't know, but um, his worksheet or any of those worksheets will tell you everything that's included. Your FICA, the stuff that you have to match for income tax. All that stuff um, is gonna add up to about $50 an hour for a 20 hour, 20 dollar an hour guy so um let's say i burned five dollars in fuel and i had to run to the supply house and our supply house is going to be somewhere you know on average it'd be a 30 30 mile round trip so if that's the case then now when i was running full-time service and I, I i had a full schedule i would run to the supply house and get get the hell back so i could get you know get that call done so i could continue so I could continue my day. Um, however, if I had a slower day, you know, that's the, it's one of those laws, like, like the, like the law of gravity. Like if I have X amount of time to do a job, the chances of it, me stretching it out to make it last that long, it, it's, it can happen. You know, if I've got a slower day, I'm probably going to bullshit in the supply house for a little bit because I'm going to see my buddies, you know? I mean, I, that's why, um, now it's horrible if I go in there because I haven't been. I don't go to the supply house all the time like I used to. So when I do, I got to catch up with everybody. So, uh, but me, if I'm running to do that, it could take me an hour and a half because I'm. I may spend. You know, maybe it takes 15 minutes for them to find, locate my part, and pull it. Uh, maybe they're busy. I got three people ahead of me. Whatever the case, let's say an hour and a half. So, at fifty dollars an hour, if I was paying myself twenty dollars an hour. That is an hour, so it'd be $75, $75 that it costs the business for me to just go run and grab a part. <clears throat> so now I'm up, to, I'm, I'm up to 80 bucks easy just to go run and grab a part. So this is what I mean by you got to monetize everything. If you're wondering where the money's going in your business, this, this is a big eye opener. This could be where all the money's going. That's why we have to charge ridiculous rates uh, to stay in business is because our insurance has gone up. Vehicles have gone up. You know, just in the last 11 years since I've been in business, I could go buy a vehicle for about $8,000, a, a, new, a new van. Um, I could go buy one for about $8,000 and it was right at 60,000 miles because that was like when the limited warranty ran out. So there was other service companies like um, the electric utility companies and stuff, they would trade those in right at the 60,000 mark because that's when the warranty ran out. So I could get one of those for, for eight grand back then. Now that same vehicle's 14 to $16,000. In 11 years, that's how much prices have went up. It's insane. Well, everything else has gone up too, and we all know this, you know, everything has gone up. The cost of the parts have gone up. Um, I know you just there's been times in the past 11 years that gas was a lot higher than it is now but during those times it gets a lot harder to make money when you're driving all over the country 
you know, back and forth to if you're like me and you don't live right in the heart of a big city and you're just only servicing that city. But even if you live in that big city, you're going to burn some fuel and it costs a lot of money. So when gas prices go up, we got to put something extra into our price so we don't drop down and start losing money. It's the same reason why everything goes up at the grocery store when that happens is because the truck, you know, half of that stuff, all of it's brought in by trucks. So they're burning fuel. They're going to charge more. So then the price of the groceries go up. I mean, I'm assuming that's how it works because I just know when gas goes up, groceries go up, everything goes up. So <clears throat> knowing this, if I'm struggling to make any money, um, this is probably why. It's probably because my the, the cost to do business has gone up so much and I have not raised my rates high enough to compensate for all the expenses that that a business in, uh, incurs or whatever the word for that is that a business has to take on a lot of expense to be able just to perform the business before we even perform the business we got to be insured you know we got to be licensed we got to be um, we got to look presentable we got to have uniforms we got to have um, tools really really expensive tools we got to pull permits if we do a job like there's all these expenses um, we have to pay somebody when somebody's qualified like I need to get paid you know because I have a lot of experience so it goes back to that I'm getting paid for what I know not for what I do it took a lot of experience to get to the point where I knew what I was doing so I did, you gotta compensate the technician well um, in order to keep him on board and and I mean there's a lot more that goes into that I'm not even gonna go into that but you get what I'm saying is there's a lot of expense just to be able to go run that first call we got dispatching software you know telephones um, computers uh, a fax line uh, a uh, we still use a fax line by the way it's just a digital line um, it makes it really convenient because that's how our financing program that's how they notify us if somebody qualifies for financing so we keep that fax line open just for that um, but we got the internet expenses everything that goes with the internet expenses if you do like a Google G Suite you know it's not much but that stuff adds up guys it just it costs a lot of money you got paper you got ink you know a month we probably spend a hundred and well over a hundred bucks a month just on ink uh, for printing all the necessary documents that we have to deal excuse me deal with all the time so all these expenses we got to monetize them <clears throat> now those type of expenses it's easy you just look at your look at your bank statement see how much you spent each month or save your receipts every time you go um, and find out how much you're actually spending but my point is that I haven't even done the repair yet. I went and diagnosed the system and I drove to the supply house and I drove back. Um, drove to the supply house, talked to my buddies, got, got up, then drove back to go ahead and make the repair. And I, it's that cost me 80 bucks easily. 80 bucks right there. So monetize everything. I, that's really all I got to share with you. I just I hope this was an eye opener to you if you're struggling to make money in your business. but. It costs a lot of money to be in business, and that's because we don't think in these terms. Um, my buddy Bill Ligon, who taught me a lot about business, he taught me what overhead was um, with his computer program, um, Profit Forecaster. Because of that program, it's the only reason we've survived and we continue to make adjustments with our pricing or whatever we need to do to stay in business and to succeed in business. So it's important that you know that, know where you're at, get to what what's called a known financial position that's what Ellen Rohr calls it if you don't know exactly if your numbers aren't clean now's the time we just came off of summer you should have a little bit of money in the bank go to an accountant and get that shit straightened out get it straightened out don't continue to do any more business until you go talk to an accountant call Brett Neal uh, he was a guest on the podcast Brett Neal great guy um, he's going to have your future, your your uh, results that you're wanting, your outcomes. He's going to keep those in mind as he designs and structures the way um, 
he's going to do your books and help you do the right things with your money. So check him out. Um, so anyhow, that's really all I got, guys. Just monetize everything, I'm telling you. Um, these markers, you know, whiteboards. I mean, think about how much this stuff costs and make sure that you're charging enough and that you have enough business to cover those expenses. So anyhow, I know I kind of rambled, but I haven't sat in front of a whiteboard. Didn't really do much work on the whiteboard today, but thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check out www.hvacserviceready.com if you want to learn more about how to run your business check that out there's business membership course there's a technician membership course if you want to learn how to get really good rapport build more rapport with customers get higher t service tickets if you want to do any of that stuff if you want to if you're brand new to the business and you're just learning how you know you don't even know the terminology you don't even know what your tools are called you know if you don't if you don't know <coughs> if you don't know what these are called they're not scissors you know <laughs> if you don't know what those are called well, go, go watch, uh, go subscribe um, to the membership of the technician membership and you'll learn all about that from that to airflow to all different types of diagnostic issues. Um, I mean, I cover it all in there. So guys, I'll let you go. Have a great weekend and go make money.